So, the Mi Note 6. Um, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. It won't be a full in-depth review, but just a quick unboxing of, of one I picked up while I'm out here in Hong Kong. Uh, I've been out here for about a week now. Um, and before I came out, I was invest investigating a couple of the cheap uh, Chinese phones you can get, uh, obviously being so close to the mainland, um, they're imported and uh, on sale quite quite easily, uh, often way ahead of uh, websites such as Banggood and AliExpress and places like that. So, um, like I said before I came out, I investigated, and the Mi 6 seemed to be coming up all the time, uh, massively high spec, um, same sort of spec as a Galaxy Note 8, um, but a quarter of the price. Um, so before I show you what's in the box um, there, the, the phone I picked up in the UK before I came away um, is another Android phone. Uh, I've traditionally been a iOS user um, for well, since they came out really. I've had a few Android phones but they've been so terrible that I've gone straight back to iOS. Um, but this one actually uh, impressed me quite a lot. It's, it was only £129. In the UK, so about two hundred dollars, um, or about twelve hundred Hong Kong dollars, um, and it's made by ZTE. Uh, it's sort of partially metal, partially plastic. So the top part there is plastic. This part is is metal. Uh, it's got quite a nice little shiny logo on the back there. Um, it looks like an iPhone on the bottom. Obviously, it's not. It's got the uh, it's got the different type of connector on the bottom. Just a micro USB. Um, what speakers on this side and a microphone on that side. So you, it is easy to cover it up if you um, if you do put your hand over there. It will completely mute the phone, which is a bit crap. But hey ho, it's cheap. Um, <clears throat> So, the best thing probably about this phone, and the reason why I, I, I kind of got it, was the fact that it, uh, it's got a full HD screen. Uh, and it's quite a nice HD screen as well. It's um, bright, um, it's responsive. Um, so, yeah, that, that was one of the main reasons why I, I kind of liked it. Um, it's The camera's okay. I wasn't expecting it to be any good at all. Um, but I've managed to take a couple of nice-ish photos while I was out here. Um, so yeah, all in all, not too bad. Um, it's really thin as well, which is quite cool. I mean, can't, can't quite see it there. Um, that's a bit better. Um, it, it's quite thin. Um, the metal buttons and things like that are nice. Uh, the camera, I uh, can't remember the specs off the top of my head. I wasn't really that bothered when I bought it because I knew it would be rubbish. But I've got a couple of good photos out of it. So all in all, not too bad. So what I decided to do, I went to the uh, Mi store um, in uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, there's two of them. One's in one's in Mong Kok near uh, right near the station, not right near the MTR station, and the other one's over on Causeway Bay, um, over on the island. Um, you can still get to it really easy. It took me about half an hour to get there from uh, from Hong Kong uh, from Mong Kok down to Causeway Bay. It's a nightmare to find these places. They're not like the stores you would find, like the Apple stores and things like that. There's no big logo outside. Uh, there's no big um, sign to show you that it's upstairs or anything. Uh, the one in, in Mong Kok's on the 20th floor of what looks like an office building. You have to get the lift up, make sure you get the right one because there's a couple. Um, you have to get the lift up and then there's just like a, a copy of an Apple store just on one of the floors of this office block. The one on Causeway Bay is a little bit easier to find, uh, but it's still in a in a quite unassuming uh, block. You go in the ground floor, you pick the the right uh, lift to go up to the eighth floor and come out, and that's the only thing up there. So it's easy to find when you're up there. But again, no signs on the outside to tell you where it is. So um, first off, the bag's pretty cool actually. Um, it's, I don't know it's a bag, but um, considering these phones are incredibly cheap. Um, the store was really nice, the people were fantastic, um, they were incredibly helpful, not too overwhelming. A lot of the stores here in Hong Kong, you go in and you get someone trailing you the entire way around, waiting for you to try and pick something up or touch something. Um, these guys were really good. Um, the guy obviously uh, noticed that I was uh, English. Um, 
pointed me straight away to the phones that had the English language labels on them so I could read what the specs were and just uh, came back when he thought I might need some assistance so all in all really good experience uh, the stores sell everything actually they sell um, they sell watches things like that so worth a visit but anyway to the to the phone so let's just take it out of the box now the box is quite nice actually it's really uh, it's really plain um, shiny you can see the specs on there probably the most important thing you'll see down there uh, if I can get it to focus is it's ceramic uh, also on the right hand side there you can see some specs uh, 6 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage pretty impressive um, and you can see that's on the front as well so this is the international edition there are ones with um, with less storage 64 gig um, but this is the one I wanted because it was uh, it was so such high spec um, I paid 329 pounds I think it was the equivalent um, which is pretty good actually um, Three three hundred and twenty nine pounds for a phone the same spec as a uh, as a Samsung Galaxy Eight uh, is pretty good in my in my book. Um, so I did watch a video on someone unboxing one of these the other day um, as part of the part of the research, um, and he pulled this lid up like this, and the whole phone because of the vacuum inside, the whole phone popped out and uh, fell on the floor and cracked the screen so uh, I'm hoping I'm not going to do that but let's uh, let's lift the lid up uh, you can see the Mi 6 logo on the side it's, quite, it's all very subtle actually and uh, and there's the there's the phone right on the top so it does have a fingerprint reader which is really cool the one I've got the cheaper one doesn't have a fingerprint reader and it annoys the hell out of me I'm to type in a pin every couple of seconds because I use it uh, with a work profile as well as a home profile um, there's so many security requirements on having my work uh, account on there that I need to have a pin otherwise I'll just probably just have it as a swipe uh, you can see there's a sticky on the front um, but let's uh, let's see if I can pop this out without breaking <laughs> without breaking it and okay so let's just put this to one side for a moment um, and let's see what else is in the box. There's no headphone jack on these. Um, so like with the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus that I had before, you need the adapter. People go mad about that. I really don't give a monkeys to be honest. If I can't be bothered to put a, a jack in before I put the headphones in, I really can't be bothered to listen to music. So um, that's a bit stupid. Uh, you do get a silicon case uh, with the phone, which is obviously cheap and cheerful but it's a case so most phones you'd get however expensive they are don't come with a case so I can pop that on in a minute um, you get a uh, sim card ejector and you get uh, the, uh, the instructions which are in English which is cool uh, and as you can see there if I can just get that to focus it does take two sims which is really cool again not something you get on many phones uh, in the UK anyway you, I know they're more common uh, abroad um, and then you get quite a nice charger again very Apple-esque um, I'm guessing that pops up there uh, let's just take that off and does that pop up it does indeed so that's quite a nice charger and the good thing about these it supports quick charging so I think you can give it a couple of hours worth of battery power uh, within like 30 minutes of charging, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you've got the cable, uh, it's just a, a USB-C and you get the um, you get the micro, uh, you get the USB-C to 3.5 inch headphone jack in there as well. It's pretty cool. Anyway, enough of that tedious stuff. Uh, let's pop that back in there, pop that in there, pop that on and and let's have a quick look at the phone so the reason I like this was because it's quite small um, it's just over a five inch screen but full HD like the other one um, but it's a good quality screen um, being lower resolution than some it's not quite HD or even 2k or anything it means that the battery life is great it's got a pretty huge battery in it as well 
Um, so let's do this. I love doing this. But let's see if I can do it without breaking anything. There we go. Lovely job. So nice screen. Nothing on the front really, apart from the camera at the top, um, and the uh, and the fingerprint read down the bottom. Um, on the bottom, you can see it's pretty similar to the other phone. Um, it's got the antenna lines like an iPhone, and on the top. Um, one of the interesting things about these, they've got an IR blaster. So I don't know whether I can focus on it or not. Uh, probably not. But somewhere along there, there's an IR blaster that allows you to control TVs and things like that with it, which is pretty, pretty unusual. Um, and then just on that side, the only thing you've got there is the um, is the SIM tray. And then right hand side, buttons and things like that. Now you can see all the way down here and around the corners, it's all it's almost seamless and that's because they're using that ceramic on the back so ceramic as in not as in pottery but as in as in uh, the high-end stuff they use sometimes in watches there's a couple of watch brands that use ceramic because it's very scratch resistant really high quality um, it does mean it's quite heavy um, but I kind of like that it's heavy um, but it just means it's sturdy so let me try and get this last little sticker off which is a pain in the rear. There we go. So the other thing I liked about this was the fact it's got real 24 karat gold uh, uh, accents around the twin lenses, and I'll come back to the minute and down the bottom there. So ceramic is lovely. It's going to be a fingerprint magnet, obviously, um, but it's just a really pretty phone. Really hefty, but not too heavy. Uh, now the cameras are top end sensors. I, I think I read somewhere that they're the same sensors that are in the original Pixel, um, but it does mean you get the um, not only the the normal lens, standard lens, but you also get a telephoto. Again, just like the iPhone 7 Plus, um, I think I like the design of this better than the 7 Plus. The big lump on the back of the 7 Plus always looked a bit odd. There's no, so you can see it's completely flush. There's no. Um, camera bump or anything and I like the fact the lenses are completely separate on the on the handset which looks really cool um, so not much to say really other than I really like the way it feels it feels really expensive I think that's the best way to put it um, and the, the fact that it's ceramic it's probably the only one well, apart from the other Xiaomi phones um, the Mix and the Mix 2, um, I think they're the only ones that use ceramic in their um, in their designs. The Mi Mix 2 is the one I actually wanted. Um, if you don't know what that is, if you pop a Google search in or look on YouTube at the Mi Mix 2, it's, a, it's an amazing looking phone, completely bezel-less around the top. It's got a bit of a chin bar on it, but it's a, a huge screen with hardly any borders. Um, that's what I actually came for, but apparently they're not going to be available in Hong Kong until end of next week, so I missed out slightly. A bit of a pain, but hey-ho. Um, so that's it really. I won't start it up um, because it needs to, I need to go through the setup, put passwords in, and it'll just be a pain in the, in the arse, so I want to give it a charge. Um, but there you go. Uh, if you're in Hong Kong or you want to order one to the UK, uh, like I said, Banggood, Expansis, uh, AliExpress, all of those kind of places that allow you to buy um, Chinese kits uh, into the UK. The price is very similar actually. I don't think I saved that much by buying it out here. I just make sure you get the right version because there's loads of versions of this one. This is the uh, international version, so it will have um, it will it will cater for all of the 4G LTE bands.